Hello and welcome to the official first video for my maddening guide for three houses. So what this guide will be, it'll be a collection of a bunch of different videos that go over how to build units, how to build specific classes, uh, pitfalls of those classes, like pros and cons of, of uh, running one thing over the other, as well as the pros and cons of which route you want to take. Uh, so to begin, we're going to start off with female Byleth. Uh, generally, female Byleth, I would say, is slightly better than male Byleth for a few reasons. Uh, one of the main ones is that if you are not doing blue lions, you can just recruit Sylvain instantly. And even if you do not want to use Sylvain, the reason this is good is because you can get the Lance of Ruin on Chapter 5. Uh, you can deny giving it back to Rhea because Sylvain will be in your party now. This is also one of the advantages of running... Uh, blue lines, you get Lance of Ruin early. Uh, that's one of the main upsides. I mean, that's pretty much the main upside. There's other things too, like if you do plan on running Sylvain, uh, Byleth can be a Pegasus Knight and then a Falcon Knight or a Wyvern Lord, whatever you want to make her. Uh, that can trigger Sylvain's being next to a female thing, so that's another upside. However, if you plan on running like Leone, then male Byleth can be slightly better. Uh, both Sylvain and Leone are kind of like two sides of the same coin. Uh, but I would argue female Byleth is slightly better. So if we're not... In this playthrough, I'm going to be doing Silver Snow. Uh, Maddening for fun. And we're going to get Sylvain for the Lance of Ruin. I'm probably not going to use him. And then you want to get through this as quickly as humanly possible. So if this is very angry... Alright, so the name is very important. The name is what you're going to be seeing every day. For the rest of your life. <laughs> no, the name doesn't matter at all. You can name Byleth whatever. Um, let's call this... Here, I think this is a good name. Whoops, not Judge. Guide... Lith. Oh, we can't do Guide Lith? We can do Guide Lit. <laughs> that's... That's not the same... That's not the same meaning, though. We want Guide Lith. All right, let's try something else. I guess we can't do guide lift because we can only have we're only allowed eight characters, so we have to think of a good name here. I usually I think eye lift is usually pretty standard. Uh, I guess we'll do guide lift. All right, close enough. It would make more sense. <laughs> she looks so, like, derpy. <laughs> it would make more sense <laughs> if it was a guy. But, alright, and then if you want to get the charm ring right away, uh, it should be this. 11th day, I believe this is it. You should get it, like, right away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is correct. This just gets you a charm ring. So, I would say if you want to make, make maddening as easy as possible... Uh, not doing blue lions and like let's say you're doing like golden deer and then getting like doing like having female bile to get Sylvain right away and you can use Sylvain like he's a good unit uh, Sylvain and Leone trigger each other's effects and they're both kind of frontliners so they can both be you know made to do what they need to do um, all right so that's the first phase we're gonna skip this now uh, we need to save over. This is one of the accounts I use. Um, I have like a few different accounts. This one I was doing a playthrough. Uh, I guess I'll save over these. Doesn't really matter. I don't know what Slylith was, but that's getting saved over. Slylith is gone. I'm going to go over a dumb thing you can do right out of the gate. It doesn't require DLC. Like on the prologue even. It's kind of hilarious. There, there, there's going to be two things. And they're going to make a lot of sense, too. Alright, so decide what house you want to do from the beginning, right? That's the thing to do. To, to do. There's basically four routes. Uh, there's, And I'll go over the difficulty of each one based on what I understand of them. Uh, you have easy mode. In other words, Claude's route. This is the easiest... Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of people say Edelgard's route's the easiest. I actually haven't done Edelgard's route. Mostly because I always skip dialogue, so I usually miss the opportunity to do it. I've beaten Maddening, like, at least, like, six, maybe seven times. Um, doing different setups, doing challenge runs, where you, like, limit things. 
Um, maybe even eight times. I don't know. I have all, I have like five, four or five accounts and two switches, so it's hard to say how many hours and how many completions I have. But it's at least six, maybe seven. Uh, but I've never done Crimson Flower. But from what I've heard, it's the easiest. And also, it probably is the easiest because there's fewer chapters. There's only 18 instead of 22 chapters. So all you have to do is complete, you know, 18 chapters. So it's like four less chapters. So... Yeah, so probably hers is the easiest. Also, she has Raging Storm, which I just discovered the other day, hilariously, when she used it against me. And right, one thing I have to do right away, though, for me, go to options. Uh, battle speed will do fast. Actually, I'll put it on normal, whatever. And then for this, I'm used to this. No, that's not correct. All right, it, it, sometimes it bugs, whatever. I'll have to change it on the future thing. All right, so I think she has the easiest campaign for Edelgard route. Fewest chapters, pretty crazy unit that can attack a bunch of times in a row and chain things. You just keep repairing her weapon with Umbral Steel, I, I believe. And you have some other crazy stuff. You get, like, the Death Knight. Um, it's also shorter. So I would say hers is probably the easiest, and then Claude's is probably close second, if not tied for easiest. Claude's route, like Claude's route overall for Maddening, it's very easy. <laughs> like everything about it, like his his specific chapters, uh, he gets access to like he gets access to more flying gambits than the other houses for whatever reason. So running flyer spam is even more viable because he gets access to like a B and an A tier flying squad, like flying battalion that are frankly insane. Uh, so, and plus he himself gets Ashes and Dust, I think is what it's called, and that's a flying, like, wave attack, like, Dimitri-type attack, like, it's a huge, like, big plus shape that can hit in a large AoE, and he has two of them, and that's a flying battalion. Plus he has, you get all this utility from him and Ignatz, and you get all these, like, break shots, like, Leone and I think Ignatz have break shot, uh, which reduces defense, which scales your damage, really good against monsters, really good against spiking down bosses. Uh, but these two seem to be the easiest, uh, and then this, like, the second hardest, I guess, like, the medium difficulty for Maddening would be Dimitri, Blue Lions. Uh, overall, I think this is a good one to do to start with, because it's fun. Uh, these ones are too, are pretty easy, and then, uh, and then, uh, from what I understand, Silver Snow is considered the hardest. Um, because it's essentially, it's 22 chapters, and it has the crazy boss at the end that people hate, so... All right, so you basically want to you want to decide who you're gonna do. So in this case, we're doing Silver Snow. So the first thing to do is to steal everyone's items, and what you do is you have them trade you, so then you can do something. This is like the most optimal, one of the most optimal things, because it gets you more items, gets you more more vulnerabilities. All right, and then we'll just kind of go over this. You can actually start using the bow too if you want. Like, right out of the gate. You can immediately start the min-maxing. You can start building support. Alright, we're gonna iron axe a dude. So you can, you can go for these, these like 65s, but I would just smash here. Just to get that. I don't like taking 60s and 70s, they're pretty low. Alright, so the first thing to do, you choose your house, in this case Silver Snow, so it's Edelgard's route. Now, if you're doing Silver Snow, don't give Edelgard or Hubert any experience, ever, because they're just gonna, they're, you're gonna lose them. So fuck them. <laughs> you don't need them. Just keep them in the corner of the map. Act like they don't exist, unless you need to put them somewhere. Uh, these dudes are basically just civilians. Uh, they're just like upstanding citizens that are cool, so they can just do whatever. Uh, you can always hit uh, right trigger to turn on aggro lines so that you don't over aggro. That's always important in maddening. You can hit plus and minus to zoom in and out. If you zoom out all the way, you can see the entire map and where everyone's at. If you hover over a thing, it'll show you where they can go, and what they can do, like what their range is. That's true of your units as well. Pretty useful. You can also selectively turn things on. So you can have like kind of double, uh, like a red and then like a kind of purplish aggro line, like aggro border. So I know for sure if I go here, two things can hit me. And then you can kind of check to see where like other units are or you can add them up so so this would be safe to pull so like these trees would be a good place to pull for example um, i don't think these advance on us they might 
I'm going to show how to get the class mastery really fast. This is like the dumbest thing I've ever discovered, but... Uh, Alright, so here's what you do. You just do this. Yes. You sit in the tree. <laughs> this is going to be like pretty much the end of this video, like after this. Uh, but essentially you sit in the tree and you let them hit you. Even if they hit you, it's low damage, you have a bunch of vulnerabilities, you just need to go through 20 combats, and then you'll get plus 5 health, which helps for chapter 1. And then of course what you can do... You can start to kill them too, like you, you don't want too many of them alive. Each one that attacks you though... Gets you a mastery. Um, so, in this case, I'll, I'll initiate with... Uh, Byleth here. Uh, we do want to start training lances, because we're going to be going into... Pegasus Knight on this character. So you want you want to start class planning pretty early. It's usually a good idea. Uh, we're going to smash to kill this guy. Alright, there'll be two of them alive. We're just going to let them smack us. We should be able to tank it. Yeah, we should be fine. And you want to keep your friendlies over there. Just like off screen. You are going to want to unequip the weapon too at some point. You have as many turns as you need for this, so you don't necessarily need to do this, like, right away. You can you can just have one alive, so it's safer, so no one dies. That's probably the best idea. Alright, so... We should hit. Nice. Alright. Okay. Alright, this is gonna attack her anyways. Oh, no, he's gonna attack. You can move him out of the way. Alright, he's gonna attack Edelgard. So she's going to just unequip and then wait. All right, now she doesn't get doubled anymore. She's going to take some hits. She's going to she's pretty slow. She's going to take some hits. You just need to get your units up. Uh, we might as well heal here. Be a little safe. This is like the easiest thing to do in the beginning. Getting plus 5 health for chapter 1. Is huge. This is considered the prologue too, so <laughs> if you're wondering. Alright, then we can do this. We can shoot this guy if we want, but we probably shouldn't. Might as well get as many of these as we can. You get one class XP per combat, so if an enemy hits you, that's one. If you hit them, that's one. Generally, you'll get level 2 from doing this as well. It's pretty It's pretty stupid. <laughs> it's a pretty dumb thing. We can hide uh, Edelgard because she's... You know, once she gets to like, I don't know, 5 left, then you're probably good. It works better on other units. Uh, Edelgard has low speed, so she tends to have bad dodging. But you can trade her more vulnerabilities. Alright, so he wants to attack me there. One thing we can do... Let's see, I can move to this one. Yeah, we're gonna have a very... Very stupid strategy here in a second. You might say it's a triangle strategy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, he's just gonna continue. His Edelgard Onslaught. We'll do very sneaky maneuver here. The old switcheroo. So you thought she was gonna die. Now we're just gonna... <laughs> and then I can start pinging that dude so he's one shot. So I can kill him whenever... Oh, somehow that got equipped. Alright, never mind, he's now one shot. <laughs> was it trading that did it? Maybe just Edelgard is just being difficult. Alright, we'll just wait. This seems stupid. I'm not gonna- I'll be honest with you. This is pretty stupid. But it works, it's effective, there's really no downside, you just waste a few vulnerabilities, who cares. Getting the plus 5 health on both of these units is way better than, you know, the cost of a vulnerary, which frankly doesn't matter, even early game. Like, it seems like it might, but it really doesn't. 
There's healing tiles on chapter one anyways, so it's totally fine. Yeah, we're already almost there. You have 99 turns, so you can easily get both of their masteries. And you can also factor in, like, fighting these and then fighting these, so I'll just let him get one more hit in. For her, at least. The other thing, too, is, like, for Byleth, he's way less accurate. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! We can do it with the other ones. It's fine. We can we can have Byleth use, use the other guys. Use the other boys. <laughs> no! <laughs> the unintentional counterattack. It seems like trading items resets your stuff. All right, we're going to do this. You can wait here. All right, I actually don't know if they can kill me. I'll just heal. In the off chance they can kill me. These might be less accurate. Oh, dang, they both hit nine. Dang, they're actually more accurate. And there's no weapon triangle early on in this game either. Let's see what we get going. This is two combats. I get to stab them too, though. You usually can get both of these units to level two by the end of this. Nice. All right, 50%. I like those odds. It's pretty good odds. Hmm, what is my risk tolerance? <laughs> we'll play it safe. Yeah, we'll play it safe here. <laughs> what is my risk tolerance? No, he's gonna hit Edelgard. Don't you do it. She's innocent. Alright, he can do it. It's fine. Okay, now he has, like, less hit rate. Oh, they're gonna go for my boys. Make sure you keep your boys safe. In this case. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't need to level Edelgard up. <laughs> I like I'm not taking my own advice. I'm, like, feeding her and shit. Dude. Alright, here, let's do this. Yeah, right, she doesn't need level 2. I need level 2. Because I'm cool. Yeah, you don't have pulses yet, so you can't really undo anything. Alright, he helps out, which is not a help, actually. You only can get hit by one of them. Yeah, I'm like thinking Edelgard's gonna be like a lord unit, but in Silver Snow she's just like useless, so she just- that was like a, a complete waste to have her get any of that XP. So, don't do that for Silver Snow. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Nice. Or at least I'll level up. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna fucking kill a guy. He's an asshole in that way. Right, I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna move her way the hell out of here. All right, we're fine. Gerald won't kill. Costas, he'll just put him at one health. All right, we got level two. Guide Lith. All right, we got strength and speed. That's good. You can also get the plus five. Like their main goals from this, if you set it up correctly, you can get plus five health on both your your lord, both your lords, basically your main character and your lord, and you should get level two easily on both of them. Uh, like in this case, I got level 2 on Byleth, I could easily get level 2 on Edelgard, so you can see there. Uh, however, we're going to deny that from Edelgard, and what we will actually do... We're gonna heal. Get her out of here. And then get Claude out of there. Uh, so, Costas will hit us. That'll get us a combat. We probably will hit with counterattack. Yeah. Gerald will put him at 1. Because he's... Your dad. <laughs> He's your dad. He's not allowed to kill him. It's illegal. Um, what does his debuff do? Reduces strength. Um, you know, 
We'll do this. We'll see how long we can get this going to see if we can get the plus five. If we dodge, we're good. We're not. All right, we have to kill him now. All right, at least we just have five combats, so you can still get your plus five. No damage. Okay. That should hit. Great. All right, so that's, that's the beginning of the game, basically. I would say... <laughs> well, this start part is so stupid. That's the beginning of the game. I would say aside from that, so you get the ring early, you choose your class, you, or like your house, you take all the items from the houses you're not using. If you're doing Silver Snow, don't do what I did and let Edelgard get class masteries because she won't need it because you're not going to be using her because she's just not, she's just dead to you from this point on. Um, you don't need her for XP. She doesn't need to get XP. So you do that. Uh, you do the tree thing, get your plus fives. Now, if you get, like, I have five combats and then I get it, that's fine too. Uh, your main goals are getting the, both the units to level two. If you're not going to be using one because of Silver Snow, then just get your pilot to level two and that should be good enough. And then getting the plus five health early. Now, I, sh I showed I could have easily gotten it, but. And I could always redo this too, but I'm not going to. Just to keep it slightly hard for me. All right. So that's it for this one. Thanks for checking us out. Definitely like and subscribe. I still need to do a ton of stuff in Three Hopes. Uh, I still have to beat the game and start getting into New Game Plus and all that other shit. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And peace.